she decided, okay, I've heard all these stories all my life from my grandparents. I've lived with them. I've taken meals with them. I, you know, I know them really well. I'm going to just write down all of that and therefore make it into an historical novel, which is what she did. I mean, the minute she had to put words in their mouths, it could not be you know, non-fiction any longer. Mm -hmm. uh, the journal probably could be, but, but whenever she put words in. And I have to say that the main characters who have speaking parts, have their names are changed. So I will call my great-great-grandparents Faith and Seth, because that's what she named them in the book. But those were not their names. Uh, the ship that he sailed on, that was not the name of the ship. A lot of the people that she talks about, if they haven't got a speaking part, are usually from Katuit. She talks about the Handies, and she talks mm -hmm. about the Crockers, and mm -hmm. so forth. So it's really fun. It was great fun to know her, and I just wish she were here mm -hmm. to help me. <laughs> At any rate, the book was published after she'd written it. It was published by a good friend of hers in Katuit who had a summer home there, Mr. Kirkman and his wife, and he was very interested in the story. He just loved it. And so he went out and found Gordon Grant and Walker Kane, who were two prominent marine artists, to uh, illustrate it. So it's chock-a-block full of illustrations. Those are some of the, or not the originals, but prints of the originals up there, and it, it, there are lots of them in here. So it, it's kind of special for that reason, because most adult books, or even you know, young reader books, weren't illustrated back then. Um, let's see.